Hi everyone, Rise of Gick here with our first uh, Let's Play as it were. I'm just going to turn the sound down. No, what was music? But... Um. Right, yeah, so um, this is Papers, Please, one of my favourite games of last year. Um, you can get it on Steam for like six ninety nine, I think it is. Um, that's uh, pounds. I'm not sure exactly what it is in dollars. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a really great game. I was got so immersed into it last year. I did play it to the end, um, following sort of the, the rules that were being sort of like an evil, an evil character, I guess. Um, those who don't know, it's very very basic graphics, but I've always believed that good graphics don't make the game. Um, it's a really immersive experience as a game. Uh, basically, you work as a border, like a border patrol, not border, patrol, border checkpoint, let people into the country of Arstotska, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure, not, I'm not saying that right, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but, um, yeah, and you can, you can choose uh, whether to like sort of follow the government's rules and not let anyone in that doesn't meet that criteria but you can choose to let them in you do get penalties for it like you will get paid um this is your job so you won't get paid and you'll get some sort of disciplinary um and you have a family to look after yourself so it's kind of a deep game about people realizing anyway congratulations the October label offer is complete. Your name was pulled. So you didn't even choose to do this job, you just get told you have to do it. Immediate placement. Immediate placement reports to the Ministry of Admission at Griston for the checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family. In East Griston, expect a class 8 dwelling. I'm pretty sure that means it's like, yeah, uh, apartment block. Not exactly a nice place to live. Glory to Ars Tosca. But, uh, yeah, so this, it starts off pretty simple, and then with each passing day you get more and more, uh, like, paperwork to look through. So yeah, the first level, you only have to allow people in who are citizens or, you know, of art, arts Toscans, as it were. So, um, this person is, uh, and the expiry date on her passport is within date. So we can let her in. Then go the next person in. So you see what I mean about the graphics? Um, they're not exactly... Oh, that's a bit of a bitchy thing to say. Just smaller than I expected. Why well, your checkpoint then? Anyway, yeah, he's he's from Impor, so he's not from Art Stosco, so we can't let him in anyway, so... Maybe he's gonna wish he was nice to me. Oh well. There's the armed guard waiting. I'm waiting this damn line for eight hours. I hope it's worth it. Nope, I'm afraid not. You are not an arts stockian. I'd like to try. Um, yeah, so she can't come in. Go to hell. <laughs> yep, yeah, and her she's on Stotska and it's in date, so we can approve. <laughs> you do get paid per how many you sort of process each day. I hate the word process when talking about people. Oh wow. I'm stuck to open this checkpoint. That is kind of foreboding. <laughs> See, if that was me, then I would really have called over the guard and said, "Please stand next to me. I don't feel safe anymore." <laughs> but um, I suppose that guard wouldn't help you anyway. I mean, I'm forced to be here. I'm reading too much into this, probably. But um, the idea itself is just so immersive. Um, Okay, straight away, no. Okay. 
Yep. He's cool. You can come in. But yeah, I mean, I played a lot of sort of um, these sort of indie, indie like games on Steam. I mean, one of my favorite games I played on Steam was actually uh, is it DLC Quest or DLC Hero? The whole game was basically um, sort of a. Uh, Oh, end of the day. Um, I was talking about sort of how the concept of DLC was kind of taking the mick, as it were. Um, I might play that at some point. Um, but, uh, yeah, so basically at the end of the day, we get our pay and we have to work out whether we're going to... Well, we have to pay the rent. But we can work out whether we're going to spend money on food and heat. If we don't, we get to save more money. However, the family here on the right, obviously their sort of situation will get worse if we don't feed them and keep them warm. So let's just leave it for now and sleep until the next day. Oh, entry restriction to relax. So um, they're admitting foreigners now, which means more work for us. So now we uh, have a book here, which... Um, Tell us the regions that we're allowing in. And we have to check the issuing cities are on their passports. Okay, so. I'll show you as we go along, so. So she's from Impor. So if we go to the Impor page, which is the one I've gone past, um, the, the issuing city, Sunkaido, um, is there. That's correct, and the date is correct, so we can let her in now. Antigra. Oh, okay. Sworn. Oh, okay. Glorian, yep. Oh, but it's not in date. Oh, we have an inspection mode now as well, so I can click that. Click the discrepancy. And then we can interrogate. Hmm, error. No, sorry, but no. I need to look after my family. I did tour the idea of trying to be a nice person in this play for a bit but I don't think it would work out well for me and I think the game would end sooner possibly Shingleton, yep and the date is correct so there we go mate mate, I hear that word <laughs> Papers, please. Hurry up, eh? Well, that was quite rude, wasn't it? Come on, really? So I might take my time. They should, the paperwork's all in order. But, um, because you were rude. Here you go. Where did your bus go? Now? Okay. That was just. That's what I'd do though. I would. I can't tonight. I would do that. In real life. It's almost kind of being for me to rush. I'm not very nice about it. I probably wouldn't be too happy. Mm -hmm. Vendor. And yep, that's fine. Oh, it's a strip club, I guess, or is it? No, I'm guessing that 
it's like a, I guess he's a prostitute. Yeah, that'd probably be a good guess. Um, it see it seems her stuff's in order, so I have to let her through. But I'm wondering then if you in the game you can visit them. Because mm, you don't forget to visit. Wow. <laughs> that was strange. I will keep it though, in case it does make something happen later in the game. Oh, oh wow. What about this? This is someone obviously not happy with the way the government's doing things. Oh dear. And I'm, that is, I'm guessing that's their reason then for the next level for the security to be heightened again. But, um, well, yeah, that's the first two days done. So, I'm probably going to end this video here. Um, leave a comment whether you like this, whether you want to see more, whether you, whether you think this is just not the right video to be doing. Um, but I might make just one more anyway because I, mean, I really do love this game. Um, but I have got other videos planned and I've got other, other sort of other kinds of things planned as well with um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Marcus, or known as Wilson Tong. I'm not sure if he's going to have his own channel or he's just going to be on mine, but he will be doing stuff, um, video games and other things as well. Um, and also, uh, my girlfriend Rasha, who will be known as Mistress Koala, I, she's going to have her own channel. We will be doing collaborations, but um, I think she's um, got her own ideas for videos on her channel as well. Um, but I'll link to everything that's not on this channel when it comes up. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all things help me out. Um, but until then, see you next time.